Hey guys, Mark here, and today we're gonna take a quick look at the Mi Band 3. The Mi Band 3 is made by Xiaomi, and it appears to be competition to fitness trackers like the Fitbit Alta. Here's the interesting thing. While the Alta costs about 130 US dollars, the Mi Band 3 can be had for under 50. But does it measure up? Let's find out. The Mi Band 3 is an attractive device that blurs the line between a fitness tracker and a smartwatch. On one side, it's small, light, and comfortable enough to wear while exercising, and on the other, it's got an almost futuristic feel that looks great while staying subtle. There's a couple of key design features that are important to note. The first is that the screen on the band is actually a touchscreen OLED panel. It's very small, but the inclusion of OLED technology on something this cheap is seriously impressive. OLED means that the display is nearly indistinguishable from the rest of the watch, which leads to a much more uniform look in its design as a whole. It also means the panel is going to give us lots more battery life since the only parts of the display that's on are the pixels that are lit up. Xiaomi claims that the Mi Band 3 will last a total of 20 days on a single charge with mixed usage. Given that I last charged this band three days ago and I'm still sitting at 90%, that sounds pretty accurate to me. The Mi Band 3 is also waterproof up to 50 meters, something that the much more expensive Fitbit Alta doesn't even have. The last neat little design feature to note is that the Mi Band 3 pops out of the included silicone strap. Unfortunately, you're required to do this in order to charge the band with the included proprietary charger. It's not difficult or even annoying to do, but I can see it wearing down the strap over time. The good news is there's lots of extra straps that you can buy online for super cheap to replace it if you need to. Now let's look at the little capsule itself. Just under the tiny 0.78 inch display sits a small capacitive button. Touching this will wake the display. From there, you can swipe up and down to access the features of the Mi Band 3 and left and right to explore the features further. The band also has a built-in heart rate sensor that you can use at any time by holding down that button while on the heart rate screen. Along with the heart rate sensor, you also get a few more standard fitness tracker tools like a step counter, stopwatch, etc. Built into the Mi Band 3 is a vibration motor that works very well. It's used for things like incoming text messages and phone calls, alarms, and alerts. In the case of phone calls, the band only has the ability to see who's calling and whether to reject the call or not though, since it doesn't have a built-in speaker or microphone. To connect your Android or Apple phone to the band, you'll need to install the Mi Fit app. For the most part, it's a simple and easy to use app that allows you to access all of the fitness information that your band has collected about you during the time that you wear it. You can also change a bunch of settings here like lift to turn on the display and which alerts pass through to your band like texts and calls. Overall, the Mi Band 3 is a seriously impressive device that costs very little for what you get. I've owned a lot of different smartwatches over the past few years, and even though those watches might do more, I think the Mi Band 3 is actually gonna stay on my arm the longest. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.